Really? Uh, yes. Thank you. I, I know how much this project means Ren, to you. Stop talking. Sorry. I want you to oversee the Nutley memoir. What? You have history with her. You'll get at a gab like in high school. Oh, <laughs> we weren't actually. Take her to lunch tomorrow. Where are you taking her? The bistro. Asking or telling, Grant? Telling the bistro. As you well know, things have been rocky around here lately. Natasha Nutley is big for us. Don't screw it up. Right. I expect nothing less from the Times bestseller list. Then maybe we'll talk about a promotion to assistant editor. Associate editor, sir. I'm already the assistant editor. Morgan, get Max in here to discuss where we are on the John Tesh book. And more coffee. Let's go. Let's go. You're still here? No. Oh, excuse me. Could I, could I please some? Um... Waiter? Jane? I thought that was you. Dana, hi. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm having a lunch meeting with my fabulous caterer. He was on the team for Ivana's third wedding. Oh, uh, widely considered to be her best. You're not having lunch alone, are you? That's so awkward. No, I'm not. I'm actually... All right, well, let me go. I just have a million things to do. If you ever get married, you'll see. Oh, well, that's not bad. Janie! Natasha! Hi! Oh, t <laughs> good to see you again. Wow, I just can't get over it. Janie Grant. I mean, who would have thought we'd be working together? Certainly not me. And you just look adorable. Well, you look great, too, as always. Well, we have a lot to cover, so I thought we'd jump right in. Um, I was looking over your proposal, and I noticed you went with a chronological structure. So... Oh, Janie, come on, all business? We haven't seen each other in, like, ten years. I mean, I was shocked when I heard my editor was going to be little Janie Grant from Forest Hills. You know, I live in Manhattan now. Oh, really? Where? My boyfriend and I have a place on the Upper West Side. Upper East Side? Fancy. Well, actually, it's my boyfriend's place. I'm there all the time, you know. He, he's a doctor. Ooh. Oh, my God! Natasha! Natasha! Nothing! Dana! Get out of here! Hi! Hi! Jane, you didn't tell me you were having lunch with Natasha Nutley. You didn't give me a The last time I saw you, you were babysitting me and I was begging you to let me stay up and watch Miami Vice. What are you doing here? I'm a writer now, can you believe it? And Janie's helping me. Did Jane tell you I'm getting married at the Carlton? The Carlton? I managed to snag the only internet millionaire who got out in time to hold on to his cash. <laughs> Good girl. Not that it's just uh, about the money. I mean, he's also gorgeous and sweet and funny and sensitive, but still a guy's guy, you know. I mean, he could go out and play football and then come home and write poetry for me. Oh my god, you have to come to the wedding, August 30th. Oh, that'll be so much fun. I'll get to meet your new husband-to-be and Janie's boyfriend all in the same day. Boyfriend? What boyfriend? Oh, he's a doctor. Really? I didn't know you were seeing someone you must have just met. Oh, hardly. They're practically living together. I can't believe you didn't tell me. And I really can't believe you didn't tell my mother. I didn't want to jinx it. Well, it's just with your spotty dating history, I would think if you were practically living with a doctor, you would tell the entire world. You know, I'm going to have the t-shirts printed up later today. <laughs> well, I guess it doesn't matter since we all get to meet the doctor who you're practically living with at the wedding. I mean, there's no reason you wouldn't bring him to the wedding, right? Right. but clearly you've done this before. And yet it doesn't get any more fun. Oh, come on. Who doesn't enjoy being forced to buy gifts for couples that they will never end up using? <laughs> ah, case in point. As a single person, I've lived almost 30 years without actually using a zester, but apparently when you get married, zesting becomes a big part of your life. Yeah, and it's not just zesting. It's torching creme brulee, making ice cream, grilling panini. How is it that married people don't weigh a thousand pounds? And then, of course, there's the whole waffle iron mystery. And the couples just keep registering. Oh, yeah. I've been here a year. I still don't understand it. Ooh, a year? You deserve a medal or counseling. <laughs> Fortunately for me, it's only a temporary gig. Did you just say gig? Yeah, I'm not mad. Clearly job stress. Speaking of which, there is trouble brewing over by the fondue pots. Break it over there before they cancel the wedding. I've seen it happen. Did you find anything for Dana and Larry? Oh, hardly. I mean, what do you get a guy that's funny but serious, athletic but poetic, masculine but feminine? Boyfriend? Of course. The one thing they don't have here. 
Larry can't be that perfect. I'm sure if we try, we'd find something wrong with him. Oh, that's so unfair. Dana's like 12 years old. And how are women like you supposed to compete? Bright, talented, smart women like you. All right, I, I didn't think I was going to say this, but in light of the whole end guest situation, I might actually consider... What is that? Jeff told some of his co-workers about you at work, but I picked up three that seemed like really good candidates. But she knew I didn't want to be set up. Honey, you're desperate. You're right. We have Kevin Adams, senior accountant, great eyes. All the admins in Jeff's office salivate over him. Well, then I hope he showers. Hank Chilton, good-looking, assertive, super smart. Way better than regular smart. And Timothy Romilly, 32, Upper East Side doctor. Ding, 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 I think we have a winner. I know, so I gave them all your cell phone numbers, so expect their calls. But you know I don't use my cell phone. It's for emergencies only. Jane. Dana's wedding's in a month. I'm sure this qualifies. Hi, Jane. It's your Aunt Ina calling. I just wanted to remind you to pick up your bridesmaid shoes before the wedding. It'll be here before you know it, and you'll want time to break them in. Speaking of the wedding, I heard we'll be meeting your boyfriend there. I don't remember hearing about a boyfriend. I'd always assumed we were close. Well, if it doesn't work out, Ethan Miles will be happy to fill in. Bye for now. Hey, Amanda says we're allowed to set you up. Uh, I just left here 10 minutes ago. Hey, we're like the National Guard. We mobilize quickly. <laughs> Opperman's at it again? Yeah, every day except during Lent. When it's twice a day. I made a few calls to see if anyone knew anyone single. Of course no one did. Shock. But then I remembered this guy in my yoga class. Oh. Yoga guys are good. Okay, it's not him. But he has this friend, Grant, who's reported to be nice, funny, and cute, who has no alarming affinities for Bet Liza or Cher. The only thing is, there's always a thing. He has a breathalyzer in his car. Ew. He had a couple of DUIs a few years back, but it's not a habit. He feels unbelievably awful about it, and obviously it won't be happening again. I don't know. At least he has a car. <laughs> yeah. And you'd always be free to drink because you'd have a sober ride home. I guess. And the wedding's in a month. Okay, why does everyone keep reminding me of this? Tough love. Fine. <laughs> we'll set up a dinner party. You can check him out. I won't say anything to him about you. If you don't like him, there's no harm done. Famous last words. Okay, I have to go. I slipped an Excedrin PM into Serge's meatloaf, so he should be out by now. Okay, I have no idea if you're kidding. We got some good news this morning. Blush is moving forward on a new project, a big one. God knows we could use something like that. All about overcoming obstacles and the triumph of the human spirit, a memoir entitled The Saddest Sweat Hog. Which sweat hog would that be? Juan Epstein, obviously. Or the guy with the annoying laugh. Horshack? He's not sad. He's a household name. I'm gonna go with Freddy A Boom Boom Washington. You're right, Max. Boom Boom's got it. Okay, the last piece of business is the Nutley memoir. Marie Claire has agreed to run an excerpt of the first chapter. That's fantastic. When do they want to run it? September. Whoa, that's not a lot of time. What's your point? Uh, you know, just that we have to get a lot of things done, and we will. Which you will. This is your project, so you're the one that's got to stay on Natasha. Don't screw it up, Grant. Oh, not a problem. Natalie's never done this before. You'll need to guide her. Whatever she comes up with will be a direct reflection on you. Not a problem. Again, I guess I just said that. Now, she absolutely has to get the chapter to you a week from Friday. That's a hard deadline. It cannot be late. Otherwise, we can forget Marie Claire, and we're not going to forget Marie Claire. Actually, we have a meeting after we finish here, so I expect to get a lot of work done. Do you need to answer your bag? What? Your bag. Oh! Wait. Oh, God. Excuse me. I am so sorry. It's probably Natasha ready to work. Hello? Hi, Jane. This is Kevin Adams. I work with Jeff. Oh! Hi, Kevin. I was wondering if you wanted to meet me for drinks tomorrow, say, O'Regan's around 7? Yeah, um, O'Regan's sounds great. Uh, how will they recognize you? I'll have on a gray shirt and jeans. Gray shirt and jeans. Great. I'll see you tomorrow for drinks. Bye. Bye. The date phone. Who was it? Guy number one. Kevin Adams, senior accountant, great eyes, covered in drool. We're going to meet for drinks tomorrow. Ugh. What? The drink date is so non-committal. It's like you only get the dinner out on if you perform well. Huh. It's a good thing I've been practicing my tricks, because I can actually get the ball to balance on my nose now. 
I am so excited to be working on this. I mean, who would have ever thought me, an author? Oh, well, you've got an interesting story to tell. And I will be so relieved when I'm finally able to tell my side of the story. Well, along those lines, we just found out that Marie Claire would like to do an excerpt on your first chapter. Oh my god, Marie Claire is the best! Well, the only thing, though, is you're gonna have to finish a chapter pretty quickly. They need it next Friday.